It's hard to believe today marks 15 years since the miracle on the Hudson. A U.S. Airways jet landed safely on the river after hitting a flock of geese upon takeoff. Pilot Chesley Sully Sullenberger was hailed as a hero for his quick thinking. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook reports from the west side with how the day is being remembered. Much like how it's been on this Monday, it was freezing here in New York City 15 years ago when U.S. Airways Flight 1549 made an emergency landing in the Hudson. We're in April. We may end up in the Hudson. That plane hit a flock of geese after taking off from LaGuardia Airport. With little time to react, Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger landed the plane on the Hudson River, saving all 155 people on board. His efforts and everyone who helped rescue those passengers is being honored. One of them was Dave Sanderson. The crew did a fabulous job that day, and I will be forever grateful. One of the things that I really think that uh, I came out of that situation for me was how 155 people didn't know each other or care about each other, come together and work as a team, and then the first responders come in as a team. So it truly, truly was a miracle. Federal investigators call it the most successful emergency water landing in history. We proved that when we work together and work hard, there's little we cannot accomplish. And this group of people showed courage and competence. Sully and then co-pilot Jeff Skiles reunited with some of the passengers at the Paley Center for Media in Midtown this month, recapping those life-changing stories. That was my first trip out of training on the airplane. I just qualified the Friday before on an Airbus 320, new airplane for me. And, I mean, this happened right away. I count to 90, which is when the birds hit, every time uh, the plane takes off. Because I know if we can get above 90 seconds that I'll be okay. And nearly two decades later, they're still inspired by the heroes who saved them. And those who were on board that flight say they will be forever bonded by that experience. They will reunite once again today, starting at 1 p.m. right here at Pier 79. That's the latest from the West Side. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Incredible stories, and there are so many to be told from that day, from the passengers to the first responders and reporters who rushed to the scene within minutes. Join Dick Brennan and Marsha Kramer for a firsthand look at how it all unfolded on Manhattan's west side. Our special will stream tonight at 7 o'clock on CBS News New York. You can find us on Pluto TV, the CBS News app, or wherever you stream.